Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Phoenix Jakes and welcome to my channel. We about to get into this I Did That Shit project. And what I did was I made me some shelves, y'all. And it's gonna be so cute. Just watch the video to the end. But let me explain to y'all how much money I spent. So I spent, I'm gonna round all my numbers up, okay? I spent about $100. Really, I spent about 91 but we're gonna say it was $100. Um, so these four pieces of wood was actually one log slab a two by six by eight and it costed me nine dollars at Lowe's all right then I bought that little sander you're gonna see right there that yellow sander right there I bought that that was about ooh, what like five dollars and it comes with all those little sandpapers back there on you see on my little banister and I also bought some extra pieces which costed about two dollars after that I got me a can of stain you'll see that later in the video some black stain I should have got brown but I got black I thought I was gonna put this in my living room where I have black furniture, and but my but I ended up putting it in my bedroom where I have brown furniture. Long story short, I bought the black stain, whatever. It still looks cute, and that costed seventeen dollars. And to be honest, I didn't even need all that, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all later in the video how you can do this project for hella cheap, cause I spent the arm and a leg. I spent the arm and a leg. But to be honest. Um, I was doing some research and if I would have bought these things already made four slabs this size all that what I wanted I would have spent about maybe 30 40 dollars more than what I spent to make it maybe even more honestly um, Because when I was looking around at Lowe's and all these other places One of these shelves done up the way it's supposed to be costed between 30 and 50 dollars So, you know, you do the math but I spent between $91 and $100 to make this shit myself. And it was a little fun. And, you know, I got a YouTube video out of it, okay? And that's always a good thing. So, as you see, I'm sanding it down. Because before, when you first buy it, if you rub your hand up against it, you're going to get a splinter, bitch. And we don't want that, okay? Because them, them holes hurt. So, yeah, you're going to sand it down. You know, and if you got, if you already got this stuff at home, then you saving money, honey. You saving money. And if you had the electrical sander, which my me and my husband was about to get, but we wasn't about to spend all that. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I got a little cough. And um, so, yeah, I sanded that hole down myself, okay? Get a little workout in my arms. And I'm just smoothing out those corners and the edges, making them a little round. Getting a little, you know, making it nice and soft. Yeah. And smooth. You want to do like so, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you do like so, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, look, say, say, say. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You recording? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the rundown of what I spent. The slab of wood, it is what it is. If you want to do this project, you can buy that. It's $9. It's not expensive. You get four pieces for $9. Now, this brick of, um, this sander brick, it came with the sandpaper and then it came with the finish. I think I'm using the finish right now um, in this video clip. That was about $6. Um, now, you what you could have, that, that's not bad either. I mean, for, for what it is. Then, now, the L-shaped looking things that i got to hold the shelf up to the wall whatever they're called y'all that was six dollars a piece now you didn't have to get all fancy the kirby little cute ones that i got you can get you some regular ones that probably cost two dollars you can get from i think you can go to like the dollar store i saw a video where a girl went to the dollar store and she got hers for real cheap now this stain honey this stain one i didn't even use y'all i didn't use i used like a quarter size compared to this fucking jug so this was 17 dollars if you don't you don't have to use stain honestly as, as i was using this i was like you know what i could have used me some nice acrylic paint and um glazed it with some with some glaze that i already had at the crib but if you don't have any of this stuff at home that brush cost me about three dollars the stain cost me 17 again at lowe's if you want to go a little uh, a more inexpensive route you can get you some acrylic paint a tube for about three dollars and brush a steel brush about that size is about three dollars so you don't have to get this 17 uh dollar can of stain that i got even though it was really nice okay it was glossy i didn't have to glaze it it was nice i did two coats um it says let it dry for eight hours so i let that sit overnight came back and did another one actually i let it sit for two hours it dried in two hours but it was a little sticky so i it wasn't, it wasn't too much sticky but you know what i'm trying to say um, it wasn't fully dry. So I came back in two hours after doing this. I did my next coat and then I let it sit overnight. 
so yeah y'all you do not have to spend 90 to 100 dollars like i did i did have to purchase some extra screws because for some odd reason they didn't want to put four screws with the little l-shaped hook thingies they only want to put two they told motherfuckers to spend more money i get it but so i had to get some more screws but that's okay anyways let me get into this technique right here y'all see how i'm dabbing that paint that's because i'm trying to get in those cuts and creases all right when you brush watch this when you brush over cuts and creases it's not going to seep in those cracks so you do this little dab just like that dab that paint in there get that paint in there and then you brush it clean to get rid of the extra um clumps of paint okay little technique for y'all yes and get you to learn something little art painting 101 all right so anywho make sure you use a nice uh you're using a clean brush so you're not leaving any lumps of extra paint around you just you know you know uh craftsmanship y'all craftsmanship okay you don't want to be brushing up and down and then left and right mm -mm. let's keep it the same stroke but i did left and right on the ends because that's what i'm doing on the ends much business um but yeah y'all know what i'm trying to say all right so i'm gonna speed this up so y'all can um you know so we can move the fuck on and if you hear cars driving by in the background that's because i'm in my car trying to do this video so just you know ignore that okay thank you All right, so what I'm doing is I'm measuring three inches in. Why did I choose three inches? I don't know. It looked right, and that's what I did, y'all. We just going with the flow, going with the flow. This is my husband's little drill, and I'm putting a little drill bit in it so that I can drill a hole where I need my screws to go. Okay, baby, because if you never did this before, for some odd reason, when I tried to screw um, some screws in the wood without making a hole first, it just was not flowing right so my husband was like no baby no but see you see me he not doing this for me because i like to do things myself this is my youtube channel i want to show y'all that i could do this myself this is why my husband isn't helping me for those of y'all like why her husband ain't helping her mind your goddamn business because it's my channel and it's my i did this shit project so i'm gonna do this shit my damn self okay period so um there i am drilling my holes drilling my holes I got my first shelf up but here's a little hint a little hint you are gonna put your top shelf up first because as I'm drilling my holes I'm getting dust on my bottom shelf and I know that's not that big of a deal you know vacuum your floor wipe it down with a washcloth whatever it was fine so I'm drilling my holes all I did was put line the shelf up to the wall look at this lady being nosy y'all look at that bitch she dead up in my house look at that saggy ass you know mm, mm. let me fix my tongue let me fix my tongue because my titties are saggy too what is saggy too Anywho, moving on so i lined the shelf up to the wall and i used the pencil to mark where i put the holes then i drilled the holes okay boom easy peasy lemon squeezy so now i'm taking these little plastic caps that i'm sure y'all have seen normally probably throw them away because i throw mine away but this is probably my first time actually using a little plastic caps um my husband says you use them because you with drywall something about it's like not being in the wood it's real hollow back there so this helps the shit from not falling out the wall anyways learn something new every day i'm putting them in the wall tapping the plastic caps into the wall and so that it's flushed and then i'm gonna put my shelf up there line it up and screw that hole in this is easy y'all easy 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 get you a drill ladies ladies get you a drill okay it makes life so much easier i mean i also love me a good screwdriver that i can use by hand when i'm you know sometimes i don't always want to use a drill but get you a drill y'all i promise it makes your life so much easier and here I am just drilling in, 
And that's it, y'all. I did that shit. <laughs> My project is done. I'm so proud of myself, okay? And I'm gonna put the other two shelves. Two are going in my room. Two are going in the living room, okay? I should have did these two that are in my room brown because my bedroom is mostly brown furniture. But I wasn't thinking at the time. I thought I was gonna put all these things into my living room. But I was like, no, I want to meditate and have my... Oh my gosh, my family is being too loud. Let me go ahead and start over. Y'all, I can't stand when I'm doing voiceovers and my family want to be hella loud in the background. Like, they don't see me trying to work. Anyways, I'm not even going to edit that out. Normally I do, but y'all are just going to get real raw on cut video real quick, okay? Anywho, so I'm finishing it up. So let me just give y'all my little backstory of why I did this in the first place. So I've been dealing with um, anxiety and depression and uh, more, more recently in the last uh, five, six years bipolar disorder. So um, I've always... Uh, the spiritual lifestyle has always been calling me, um, at least for the past five, six years. But as, as those of you may know who deal with uh, mental health issues, we we want to start something and it takes us years to start something. We get down and life is hitting us and all these different things are pulling us and we try and we try and we try, but we don't really get through. So um, this is what I wanted to buy these shelves so that I can have a place to put my indoor plants so that I can have a place to hang my crystals and, my, and place my sage and just have my um, my space of peace where I can sit and meditate so um just creating that that peaceful environment so uh, here's the sage I have some white sage um lavender uh mountain sage and copal I think it's it's they're mixed together two of each in one bundle I think it's the white and lavender and the mountain and copal anyways um so yeah I'm gonna cleanse my crystals um, I'm gonna be placing some sand into the seashell that I have so that I can put out my sage when I need to cleanse my crystals, sit up under my plants, my back against this wall right here in this little space next to my my um, my window and my uh, mirror, and meditate and and just try to create peace in my life and try to start my my path, my journey of healing um, and spirituality. And I'm um, I think I'm ready. Like I said, I've been it's been tugging at me for the past six five six years. And I've been collecting crystals and I've always tried to start and then I stopped and I got busy with life and I got depressed and a lot of things were happening. So I'm using some sand that I got from uh, a beach that I well, went beach camping at. It's called Cape Cod in North Carolina, I believe it's called. I went there with a friend. So I held on to some sand because I'm a hoarder and I collect things. So luckily, the lady at the crystal shop said, you know, get some sand or some dirt so that you can put out your sage. So that's it, y'all. Um... I'm going to make a video on showing the crystals that I have and just my journey on uh, my first time meditating and doing yoga and um, cleansing my crystals and charging them. I'm going to make a video on that just to, you know, document my journey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love and appreciate all the support, you guys. Seriously, I think I'm at 600 subscribers. Like, this is crazy. I'm trying to be at 1,000 by January. So go check my other videos out, you guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click the little bell so you get notifications when I post videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.